Hey everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. I thought it would be really fun to share with you what I got for Christmas. And I also got some art gift cards from my sisters and my nieces and nephews. And I did go buy some art supplies today, so I'm going to show you that as well. So let's take a look at the art items I got for Christmas. The first item I got is this travel journal book by Abby C. And this is a person who has a YouTube channel and is on Instagram and social media. She's very talented and does amazing journaling spreads and has lots of creative ideas. I've been following her work lately and I've just been deep diving into all of the art she makes. And so I got this book uh, from my mom and it just talks about travel journaling. And this coming year, I'm hoping to kind of change how I travel journal. So a lot of the items that I did get for Christmas kind of focus around that new structure of travel journaling. Uh, this book is all explanatory. Every page gives you information and tips and recommendations, and it's really thorough and well thought out. It's not one of those books where it has a little preamble at the beginning and then it shows you a bunch of pictures. There's a good balance of pictures and information. I've been really impressed with it and really, really enjoying reading it. Uh, so this is going to kind of be my guide book, I guess, for getting started in this way. When I travel, I've always journaled, but now that I draw, I would like to incorporate the drawing with my journaling. I'll show you what I did buy recently. Um, this is from Traveler's Notebook uh, Company, and I will do a video about this whole thing uh, in an upcoming video, not this one, but I did buy a passport size journal. You basically buy like the cover and then you buy the inserts, which I think is great because then as you fill them, you can switch out your inserts for different ones. Uh, so I've started some travel journaling pages. We went to Quebec City recently. We met one of the uh, people from Coronation Street, my mom and I. And so I've just been journaling, doing some sketches, not really anything that I like I really want to do something more in depth as far as sketching goes, but I've just been using this as like a starter to kind of get me my feet wet in it and stuff. Uh, there is uh, watercolor paper inserts you can get. And so I have one of those in the back here and I bought the little brass clip that you can get as well. That goes with the set. I just love this whole system and it feels so good holding it in your hand. And so I'm really excited to travel journal with something like this. I always end up buying journals that I never really like the books. Um, so I think the inserts will be nice, but this kind of talks about that and really is a guide map to get started with this style of travel journaling, which includes sketches and written word and uh, different mementos and ticket stubs and stuff like that. I think that'll be fun. So that was one of the items I did get. Um, I also picked this up with my gift card, just a um, dip pen set. I don't have any dip pens. I used to have a glass one, but I broke it, unfortunately, a couple years ago. And this is just a starter sketching kit that I got at my local craft store. To go along with my journaling, I did get this uh, date stamp, which I think will be great to just put the dates on my pages with some colorful ink pads. I think this will be really fun. And I see this used quite a bit. And these kind of remind me of like when I was in public school, the teachers would always have these date stamps and would stamp all of our papers with them or when they made comments. And I just love this one. It comes in this little wooden case that it can sit nice on my desk. I also got this amazing letter set. My mom just went on my wish list and ordered all the stuff she said. So I got all these amazing things I've always wanted. And so this just has all the different letters. Um, this one's really hard to see because it's printed on black and the uh, wood pieces are dark. But if I can pull one out here, it just has these kind of uh, serif text letters. And it looks really nice when it's stamped out on the page, especially if you stamp it out unevenly. I find that the letters look really nice when they're stamped out and you can do them in different colors. I did do that in my journal. I did uh, Christmas Day in the capital letters and alternated with red and green and it looks really nice. Uh, so I did get this as well for journaling, which I think will be really, really nice. To go along with my journaling, I got these brush pens from Pentel and these have a bit of a soft tip so you can do brush lettering. I'm not very good at brush lettering, but I do like to do my own. 
uh, style of lettering. And so these are really nice to write with. And I did test these out in my planner and none of them leaked through, which was really nice because when I did my journal, and I've just kind of been experimenting, and I will talk about this in the journal video that I create, but um, with like, you can see this marker line went through the page. And so that was the Tombow brush pen that I used. Uh, but then I used other pens, like here I used a marker line that didn't go through. So it was a nice test to see. And the Pentels are, the Pentel brush pens are ones that do not bleed through the other page. So these are gonna work really well for doing uh, my journal pages. And I think I would like to do themed colored pages. So maybe sticking to one color theme for a page with sketches. And it'll be nice because they don't bleed through. I'll show you what the uh, sample looks like that I made. So just here in my book, I did a sample of each color, which there's a lot of vibrant colors in this set, which is really nice. I've already used the gold and it looks really good on the insert paper. I think too, with the journal system, you could make your own inserts. And I think if you had your own watercolor paper, you can see it doesn't go through, which is nice. If you had your own watercolor paper, you could make your own inserts with the your own brand of paper that you like. And that might be something I do down the road. I do like the format of that journal though, how small it is and compact. Uh, so yeah, I got these. I think what I would do is just maybe grab a couple to travel with and pick a theme, like a, a three or four color theme that I want to do. My mom also got me these fun stamps to put in my journal. Uh, she saw the plane and then that was the selling point for her, she said, which is great because I love planes and we travel a lot together. Uh, we just fly around, so that should be really fun. I thought some of these were really neat and just, they're very small, so they're great to just add as like um, adornments on the page. I have used this truck already on my Christmas spread and yeah, these are pretty fun. And so I got those. Um, some other things I got that are a little, a little bit, um, sort of art related, but not really, maybe a little bit more on the journal side for sure. Um, but I did get this camera, this just, um, basic film camera, and this is a half frame camera. So if you are familiar with film or ever shot film back in the nineties or two thousands, um, like I did, uh, you all know that a roll of film usually comes with 24 or 36 exposures. And what this camera does is it takes a picture on half of a frame. So every time you take a picture, it puts two pictures on one frame. So it doubles the exposures that you get out of one roll. And it kind of creates unique um, photos that way. So I'm looking for something that's just kind of very vintage. And I thought this would be really fun to travel with and get some really fun photos. And we have a camera lab downtown that I will get it developed at and um, I think I might also get one of those negative readers uh, to put the negative film in to scan it for digital um, just to post online or something or if I wanted to print copies of my picture to put in my journal spreads when I travel. But I think this is going to be really fun. So my mom did get me this and I also had film on my list so she got me a bunch of this uh, Kodak Gold film. I would also like to try the Portra as well but I think that will be fun for travel journaling. And then she also put the, or I put this on my list and she also picked this up for me. Um, my mom spoiled me. I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky. Um, but she did get me this um, Kodak printer. The thing about photo printers, I do have the Canon Ivy and I love it because it prints little stickers that I can put in my journal, which again, I got for travel journaling. Uh, so I always write a journal when I travel and I would like to add more pictures and sketches with those writings when I go, like going forward. Uh, so the Canon Ivy is good because it prints little stickers you can put in your journal. This is good because it prints about the same size. Like I think it's maybe two by three. I could be wrong on the size. It, it prints a smaller sized um, picture. But the thing about this that makes it better is that it does the four pass printing. So it will print yellow, magenta, cyan, and then black ink and you get a cleaner, crisper photo and it, the colors are more realistic. On the zinc printers, they're not as good. They're great for like just little pictures, I guess, but they're not as clear or the colors aren't as good as these four pass printers are. So if you are in looking for a photo printer, I definitely recommend this one because it does the four pass. There is a Canon selfie that also does the four pass printing where it does each color individually, like yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. Uh, so I would look out for that too. But yeah, so I got this one. And that should be good because it's still kind of travel size. The selfie's really big and you have to set it up and hook it up and plug it in. And it's 
like a thing, but this one just charges, which is great. So that'd be good for travel. And then I went down to the art store today. My mom took me and I used my gift card to buy some things. So I got this really fun pin and this is basically a color wheel and it shows you different color combinations based on the color wheel structure. There's uh, triad colors, complementary colors and analogous colors. And if you're trying to make a palette and you want harmony or complementing colors, this basically, this little pin will help you pick that um, theme by looking at the way the holes fill in and you can spin the wheel to whatever color you're thinking. If you wanted to do um, a complementary color and you started with purple, then you can look over here and know that yellow is the complement to purple, which is basically opposite on the color wheel. And I thought this would be really helpful for me because I did study color theory in college when I took graphic design, but and we made a color wheel and we printed all these little charts by hand and cut them out with exacto knives and oh my goodness i can't remember it for some reason my dyslexic brain does not absorb how the color wheel works even though i know it and i should know it but i thought that this pin would be really handy to have at a reference so i thought that's really cute and so i picked that up and then i picked up some inks as well i did show you my dip pen already and i got these ferris wheel press inks and we're very lucky. Ferris wheel press inks are very popular right now, and they're from Canada. I believe they're based out of Toronto, if I'm not mistaken. I do have a few of their inks already, and I picked up a couple more. This one is, it's really hard to read because of the foil. This one is plated gold tress, which is like a yellowy color. Really, really pretty, like a, like a golden warm ink. And this one is bumbling blossom, which this one almost comes out like a coral pink, and it's they're both shimmering inks so in the bottom you'll see that the settlement has all of the shimmer and then you just shake them up before you use them and that's why i got the dip pen to use with them because i don't want to put the shimmer inks in my fountain pens because it will clog them and so for journaling especially or if i'm doing monochrome sketches um normally i would just put the ink in my alami safari pen uh, I do use that for sketching with waterproof ink as well, but with these shimmer inks, you really should be using a dip pen because you don't want to get these uh, fine piece, like the granulating or the granulated pieces inside your fountain pen because it will jam them up and make a mess. Uh, yeah, so that is a look at the basic amount of art things I got. Um, I'm really excited. These aren't really conventional art things uh, as far as like watercolor painting go but it, I feel like it's an extension of that and I'm really excited to really focus on travel journaling this year because I do have some trips planned coming up which I mean I travel all the time anyways that's a given but I want to be better at capturing um, my travel journaling I will show you what I did last year for my travel journal so last year if you remember I did get this um, Stillman and Burn sketchbook and I did my travel journaling in this just page by page and I loved this format I loved this book and um, I did quite a bit of sketches especially when I went to the Caribbean and spent some time there and so I'd like to do more like this but more in a journal setting where uh, maybe like if I were using this picture for example then I would have more of my day written at the top and it would be more like a book uh, opposed to just being a sketch and yeah, so I did this last year and I feel like this is just this year I'm going to try a bit of an evolution of this book um, and try to just do some of these sketches within the journal and I will test it the watercolor paper that comes with the Traveler's Notebook because I am curious to see if that uh, or how that works. I've not seen any reviews on that paper so I am uh, curious to try it out. So I hope you enjoyed this look. This is kind of a, yeah, kind of a neat uh, different assortment of art things, but it should be really fun. I'll do reviews coming up on my channel and I'm curious what you got for Christmas and or if there's any art supplies on your wish list that you think you'll get for 2024 to help with your art journey. Let me know in the comments below and if you did like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified the next time I post to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and a happy new year. Thank you.